Good morning, everybody. Um, today, we will talk together uh, about the tangible and intangible value of industrial heritage, understanding and managing risk. I am uh, Valentina Barbieri, and with uh, Luca Borghini, I am co-founder of uh, Rinascimento Industriale. Together, we will talk uh, about three topics. Um, in this lesson uh, uh, about the definition of industrial heritage, the Neat Neat Ideal Charter. In the next lesson, uh, we will talk about the Dublin Principle. And uh, in the third lesson, we will talk about uh, European legislation. So, let's start with the first topic. What is it, uh, the Neat Neat Ideal Charter? The Nisnitsail Charter of Industrial Heritage is uh, an important document, the first document universally shared about the definition of industrial heritage. On the 17th of July 2003, the TCH, the International Committee for the Conservation of the Industrial Heritage, an international organization that aims to conserve and uh, um, spread the industrial heritage, drew up a charter that um, is uh, uh, written in uh, Nizhnitail town uh, in the Urals in Russia. And this charter was uh, originated by Tichich and uh, will be presented to ECOMOS, the, the International Council of Monuments and Sites, for ratification and uh, for eventual approval by UNESCO. What is Tichich? Um, Tichich is uh, an organization founded in 1973 um, after the first international conference dedicated to industrial archaeology in Iron Bridge in the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is uh, an important country for uh, the uh, uh, industrial heritage because uh, in the United Kingdom uh, uh, happened uh, the important industrial revolution. So, um, in uh, the Nizhny Chaitajil Charter, um, there is a definition of uh, um, the meaning, uh, the universal meaning of uh, uh, the um, industrial heritage. So, um, the delegates assembled for the 2003 Teaching Congress in Russia uh, assert that the buildings and structures built for industrial activities, um, together with the process and tools used within them and the towns and landscapes in which they are located, uh, along with all their or other tangible and intangible manifestations, are of fundamental importance. Um, this is very important to underline this because uh, um, in uh, 2003 there is uh, the first moment, uh, universal moment, that uh, uh, um, International Congress uh, um, think about and speak about uh, the importance of, of uh, uh, universal industrial heritage. Um, the definition, the correct definition is uh, this. So the industrial heritage consists of the remains of an industrial culture which are of historical, technological, social, architectural or scientific value. These remains consist of buildings, so architectures, workshops, mills and factories, mines and sites for processing and refining, warehouses and stores, places where energy is generated, transmitted and used, transport and all its infra in infrastructure, and as well as places used for social activities related to industry, such as housing, religious worship or education. Um, about this definition, we can uh, uh, say that uh, uh, 20 years ago, the Congress think about uh, a tangible meaning of industrial heritage. Today, we can think about uh, uh, also intangible meaning of it. 
and not only uh, architecture, for example, factories, for example. Um, about the risk of uh, um, the uh, universal uh, industrial heritage, uh, the Charter uh, says that the sites uh, there are at risk should be identified so that uh, appropriate measures can be taken to reduce this risk and facilitate, um, a faci facilitate uh, suitable schemes for repairing or reusing them. So, uh, 20 years ago, um, the Congress uh, um, think about also uh, this risk. Um, about the conservation, um, the Charter uh, say that uh, uh, the conservation of the industrial um, heritage depends on preserving functional integrity and uh, intervention, interventions to an industrial site should therefore aim to maintain these as far as possible. So the maintenance of, of the real state of the um, authentic state of uh, the uh, heritage is very important to the, uh, the teaching. The conservation of industrial sites require also a thorough knowledge of the purpose or purposes to, to which they were put. And um, in the third case, preservation in situ should always be given priority consideration. So all the industrial uh, heritage um, should be um, maintained maintain, uh, also when the risk is uh, um, clear and evident. So thank for your attention and in the and in the next lesson in the second lesson we will talk about the Dublin principles.